Howdy, partners on the series JG. Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we met DeSanta, who is like a raving psychopath, uh, like threatened to murder us and then told us he was kidding and blah, blah, blah. Now we're off with him and some of the Mexican army pals to kill the same rebels we were hanging out with last time. I'm just going to ride with him, but... Um, so we can just get to know our new friend better. We're we gonna talk or hold on tight. We're in a hurry. Maybe we don't get stuck. You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. Oh, yeah. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, uh -huh. but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Oh, yeah. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Mm -hmm. Do you know him? No. No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? He's a man, he's a man, he's a man, he's a mighty good man. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Well, true that. You should look in the mirror. You're the one Michael talking Jackson. about this. Jesus. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man? Or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. <laughs> and, uh, probably be less psychotic about it. Is there nothing in between put an arm around him and beat him? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. They were both good dudes. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. I do love talking about it, though. It's all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. Mm -hmm. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. Kind of futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly mm -hmm. in the service of the rebel peace. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. The game has a uh, time limit. It's an invisible price. time limit. It's kind of unfair. I'm not getting paid. It's it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. Mm. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Colonel Allende for long. Anyway, that graphics sure flipped out there for a second. It is killing this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk, talk. The right to stand up for themselves. The right, the right. Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Well, apparently they don't have any. But just saying, there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind the Senor Marston. Lies, insidious lies. But anyway, it's been nice talking to you. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. Mm. You're talking about things you don't understand. Stupid. If you ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. I thought I could change something. At least twisted T. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Mm -hmm. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Bunch of teenage the punks thinking they're going to change orders. everything. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. They don't even have change in their pockets. Life, any change is going to seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're going to look for someone else who will. Mm. For a tired old revolutionary. You are very naive. What do you want us to do? Maybe it's Walk a Trump voter. 
every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. What's a culo? Anyway, it's been nice talking to you. Abraham Reyes, he's a traitor, a liar, a coward, and a sinner, a hero who has done nothing. Joker, Toker, the midnight Toker. This morning, and I ever will put a pathetic warm. That's a nice image. He Thank you for talking about your shit. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak minded. Like me. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. Yeah, I keep saying he's going to make Mexico great again. He's standing about Kong giving speeches. It's easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. You need at least three dudes. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? Of course, you could just have five. Uh, lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. Ralph and Clark, the Akari warriors. They will think it's a supply train. Maybe you could add in the whip to really expand the ranks. We must throw the oh, rats out of the hole. plot. If there's some bait they can refuse. Come on, the train is waiting. Hold on, I have to summon a particular horse. Get on your horse. You have to get to the train. Yeah, I'm going. Come on, vamonos. So I kind of missed the one part of that conversation where he described the plot. Okay, we're defending a train. So let's not um, get directly in the train tracks and get ourselves killed. Come on, come on. I'm assuming at some point uh, bandits are going to start attacking. Well, it's a rather dull mission. got killed, but I didn't really get any shots in on the train. Suppose these guys are not going to know, uh, suppose these guys won't figure out that I'm, uh, working for, uh, or the rebels won't find out that I'm doing this. I think every this is kind of an honorary Grand Theft Auto game. I think every Grand Theft Auto game features you working missions for both sides, sort of two sides fighting against each other. Shots off. This would be a great place for an ambush, yeah. Come on. Just walk away. 
like right on top of one of them. Keep on coming. Traveling on about virtue. You think I'm joking? I don't think you're joking. engine is in trouble too. Almost halfway gone. Well, but so I guess that's fine. He officially declared that they were done. Let's trigger the next cinema. Todo bien, compadre. Did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. Guys are gonna be such good buddies. Oh, there we go. So now we're in tight with the Mexican army. Can think of worse things to do. Be one of those Irish soldiers who switched sides and became heroes down there. Oh, or oops. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que yo para qué le estoy pagando. Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. So we have to go stop the train, and they're just gonna hang out. So they have stolen a train. Dramatic and exciting mission, this. I think you can rob trains in the multiplayer version of this game. So, our horse wasn't able to find you, oh. No, must get horse. There we go. So I don't want to wander too far into the, the woods there and get attacked by wolves. Come on. Will the wolf survive, folks? So now we have uh, a couple of different people giving missions. Uh, we still have Landon Ricketts, and we have DeSanta. And I thought I saw another logo pop up, like an L without the R afterwards, but maybe... It's just Landon Ricketts. Let's... Um 
and there's really nothing going on. If we were to go back up into our old uh, territory up here, there's not a whole lot going on there now. The story very much wants us to be in Mexico, so let us fast travel to a vacant property. And buy it so that we have the ability to hang out in DeSanta Town and uh, always be close to our new friend, bestest friend ever, Carl DeSanta. Totally trustworthy dude. You know he sounds like a little berating psychotic, but once you get to know him, he's a real good guy. Sending us out there to stop a train, being stolen by rebels, while he and the rest of the army just continues to hang out at the whorehouse. <laughs> What a hero. Oh, it looks like this is a place to rent instead of buy, maybe. I'd like to have a purchasable property here. Yeah, I can buy it. Buy it. And it's fairly cheap, too. We're really whipping through the money buying all these properties that we don't need, but... I guess we'll just keep wearing this as long as we're in Mexico. That's not Canada. Or that's not America. That's not even Mexico. There are... Faithful horse stand around overnight? No, watered off. No, never mind. It's, it's over here. It hitched itself. Good. Walk a little too close, but you keep thinking you're gonna throw me off my horse. That's what people do in this game. Let's do another mission for uh, De Santa since we're here in the De Santa town. Looks like DeSanta's, um, DeSanta's, uh, up at the top of the town. Makes you climb up here, so he feels important. Kind of a sweet layout. Oh, this must, must be, like, military headquarters. Wait, what the hell is that on the map? There's like a skull. Oh, a wanted poster. Yeah, I feel like doing plot missions. We can we can do some of that kind of stuff uh, in later videos. I do want to show off the wanted poster stuff. Usually it's a big pain in the ass to get those guys back alive. The demon dizzy. Hablas leotan, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está. I wonder if they're plotting my death right now, and I don't know. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho, jovencito sin vergüenza? ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? Who the devil is this faggot? I think he just said. The man I spoke to you of? <laughs> a friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, uh, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, uh, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> Pretty funny. Then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. But I'd be screaming it. Justice. In pain. Nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah. I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero. Get the horse ready. We're gonna drive him around. La compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. He's uh, 
father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. Drunks? My people have lived and worked here for a hundred oh, years. Peasants. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. Can't imagine they why. God. And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. Can't imagine why again. Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Good and evil. I'm clearly not good. Will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force. <laughs> Force must be used if you are to have your own way. But again, sure. Marston doesn't really care about any of this. Now, perhaps you can... Uh, do me a favor. A poor for four? Find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor. You could be dragged behind a horse at any you. time. These idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. And you head there and you lend your support. <sighs> All right. Baboso, quantos veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. Que era el cabrón. No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. We will meet them there. And by the way, we brought your horse here for you. I know you left it down the hill. Let's go. And I'll keep facing them. Maybe we'll get to chat. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. Shut up, you don't talk oh, about him. you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. Mm. It is easy to criticize power. Power. You have power. never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men printing and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Mm, got a point. I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? Mm -hmm. The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. So he's waging a war them. on ignorance. And he's impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're already late. Come on, let's see if you can ride. You're being too kind on that horse. Oh, we're now racing. Okay. Come on. You surprised me, Gringo. Yeah, but not that surprising. Oh, come. Nobody could talk. Nobody could talk. Nobody could talk. Oh, come. I really want to win this race because I don't like DeSanta, but um, it seems like getting thrown off my horse would be real easy in this situation. a little girl. I don't even know what you're talking about. So there's going to be 8 billion rebels. Yep. Stop shooting at me!
Ooh, there's a whole bunch more of them. I thought it was only gonna be a, a couple left. Alright, so I need to cover and start covering health here. But you are a Mexican soldier, so you're on my side. And I didn't, wasn't sure where from. Okay, well, I guess it's over, even though there's like 10 guys left. I'm not sure that I really did that much. I'm sure I did more than any one Mexican soldier, but I kind of feel like I didn't do the total majority of the killing here. Alright, DeSanto. What's up? I heard the little oars crying in that house over there. What? Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Mm. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? He wants to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Well, you sure are good dudes, huh? Get the fire bottles. It is time to finish what we started. I do not want to be here any more than you do. It'll be to pull up radio menus, select the fire bottle. This is just fun. Destroying the homes of the peasants. Let's see how they like this. Fun. Kidnapped some women, destroyed their homes. You really are pathetic. What? You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Yeah, I'm not sure that you're sort of working with the, the nice people in this. <laughs> not sure that we're on the side of justice uh, here. You're becoming more famous. Posse's bounty hunters another pursuit way twice as long as before repeatedly accosting you. New items are now available. Huh. Well, as much fun as it is to murder the innocent and burn down their homes, um, we need to get out of here and uh, get on with our. Uh, Quest for vengeance against, uh, you know, Bill Williamson and whatever. But probably the simplest thing to do right now would be to just camp out and save the game and call it a video. I mean, you know, burning down villages and killing innocents takes it out of me. Let's uh, pick up whatever plant this is first. This looks like the one. Yeah. Well, 
I mean, I don't actually want to go off the cliff. I just <laughs> wanted to get a little ways away from town. In case that counts as a town, even though I just burned it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. And um, when we come back, um, I think we'll do another mission for DeSanta. Just because we're in that mode now. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me next time for more of Red Dead Redemption. Bye-bye.